Science on the Brain with Marshall Brain. Hello and welcome. Today we are going to start by doing something just a little bit different. We're going to make ice cream and to do that we've got some milk, some sugar, some vanilla, some salt, a big bucket of ice, and two plastic bags. Start with one cup of milk, add two tablespoons of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla, stir it up, and then pour it into a plastic bag. So now, how are we going to freeze this and turn it into ice cream? We're going to stick it in this other plastic bag that's bigger. We're going to add some ice like that. And then we're going to add about half a cup of salt, seal it up, and start mashing it like this. Now, after about 10 minutes, you're going to look and suddenly it is going to have turned into ice cream. See? It's solid. It's, a, it's ice cream. It really is ice cream. There's something important that we did when we were making this ice cream and we can actually learn a cool science fact from that. That thing we did was we added salt to the ice when we made it. Now, if we hadn't added the salt, this would not have worked. And what we're going to look at as our big science question today is what adding that salt did to make ice cream possible. Right now, you can see that I'm sitting in front of my freezer. And my freezer is a little odd because there's a wire coming out of it. And that wire is there because I've made a very special ice cube for us today. That ice cube has a temperature probe buried in it. And it lets us see the temperature of that ice cube as it melts. So what I'm going to do is take it out of the freezer and we're going to make a graph and look at what happens to the temperature of that ice cube as it melts. And from that, we're going to learn something important about making ice cream. This is the ice cube. All right. You can see here that I've got a stopwatch, which I've just started. And I've got our special ice cube and I've got our thermometer, which is reading 4.6 degrees Fahrenheit right now. And I've got a piece of graph paper. At two minutes, we are at 14.4 degrees. At four minutes, we are at 20.7 degrees. At six minutes, we're at 25.7 degrees. At eight minutes, we are at 28.8 degrees. At 10 minutes, we're at 30.2. At 12 minutes, we're at 30.14 at minutes, we're at 30. At 16 minutes, we're at, at minute 18, we're at 31.3 degrees. And you can see that we're going to stick at about 31 or 32 degrees until all that ice melts. Now let me show you something. Let me say I take some salt and I pour it on top of our ice. Let's watch what happens to the temperature. Now at minute 21, something interesting is starting to happen. Our temperature is 27.7 degrees. At minute 23, the temperature is 18.9 degrees. Minute 25, the temperature is 14.9 degrees. At 27, the temperature is 13.5 degrees. At minute 29, the temperature is 12.9 degrees. Let's look at this graph and we'll be able to see exactly why we had to add salt to make ice cream. On this axis, we have temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. On this axis, we have time in minutes. We started with an ice cube at 4 degrees or so Fahrenheit. And we sat it on the counter and its temperature rose up to about 31 or 32 degrees. That's the melting point of ice. Now it's going to sit there at that temperature because that ice has to absorb a whole bunch of heat to change from solid ice to liquid water. At the 18 minute point, we added the salt. That salt changes the melting point of water. So the temperature fell way down to 12 or 13 degrees. That temperature drop made the creation of our ice cream possible because milk is never going to freeze at 32 degrees. It needs a low temperature in order to start freezing. So we dropped the temperature and our milk turned into ice cream. Now if you want to, you can perform all kinds of experiments with ice cubes like this. What you need is a plastic cup, some water, and some kind of thermometer. You can buy a digital thermometer with a probe like this for five or ten dollars, or you can use a regular thermometer, just stick it in and freeze the water. Try using different chemicals and make a graph to see how much they lower the temperature of the ice. Try salt. 
But also try baking powder, try laundry detergent, try Kool-Aid, it doesn't really matter. Try some different stuff and see which chemical gives you the lowest temperature. You might not want to make ice cream with it, but it will teach you something about the melting point of ice. Have fun performing your own science experiments. Science on the Brain with Marshall Brain.